is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below hello aries sun moon rising and venus and welcome to another reading please keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa also keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you so if it doesn't feel uh, if it doesn't resonate with you then feel free to check your other placements please all right <clears throat> Coming to the current situation, we have the Nine of Swords. What is blocking or influencing the Nine of Swords is the Two of Pentacles. What happened in the past? The Seven of Swords in reverse. I hope you can see the cards. What's on Aries' mind is the King of Wands. Wow. Why is all this happening? The reason for the reading is the Star in reverse. What will Aries experience in the near future is the Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, What's Aries doing right now is the Five of Wands. What's going on in the environment is the Three of Pentacles in reverse. What's in Aries' hopes or fears and their emotions is the Moon in reverse. What is a likely outcome is the Ten of Swords. Ouch. What's happening Aries? Overall energy, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Someone living their best life, okay? You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you could have this in your birth chart. Someone single, independent, taking care of themselves. They're having fun. They're enjoying themselves. They're on their own. This is someone who's screaming, I am enough, all right? This is someone who says, I'm okay if I have a relationship. I'm okay if I don't have a relationship, all right? I'm on my own and I'm happy, okay? This is someone who's just killing it they're having fun all right let me have a look at the cards in the past there could have been someone who would be trying to avoid a connection we have the seven of swords in reverse there could be someone who was trying to avoid a situation avoid a connection but then someone returned back okay could have been someone who was feeling guilty or someone could have been caught okay i i have a feeling someone feeling guilty all right right now aries you're stressing about a situation. You have the Nine of Swords here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You're stressing about a situation, okay? This is a lot of sleepless nights, not sleeping well at night, a lot of remorse, regret, or fear, okay? This is basically thinking about a situation over and over again, okay? And you're thinking so much about it that you're probably making a mountain out of a molehill, okay? Probably things are not really that bad as yet, but it's your thoughts that you're creating which is making it worse. And what is influencing the situation is the Two of Pentacles, all right? So either you're stressing about someone making a decision. The Two of Pentacles is... Is, is a decision, all right? Either you're wanting clarity about a situation or there is someone here who's juggling two people, two situations, all right? We'll see. Or there could also be a situation where you're trying to find a balance, all right? This could also just be plain making a decision, all right? On your, on your mind, you have the king of wands. This is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You are taking action, okay? You have your eyes on someone. It's like you've zoned out on someone, okay? Like you definitely know what you want. Like this is an unstoppable energy. The king of wands is someone who exactly knows what they want, okay? And there there's no stopping. This could be a businessman, someone who's a boss figure, a leader. But this is, the king is usually married, all right? This could be someone who's married. If not, then this is someone mature, but they have a lot of passion for you or you have a lot of passion for someone, okay? You know what you want and you're going for it. You're taking action. This is execution. The reason for the reading is the start in reverse, okay? So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I feel Aries, whoever's stressing out, like I said, right, energies can be vice versa. So whoever's stressing out is the person who is losing faith in the connection, okay? They don't have enough faith, they're lacking hope. They feel something's a hopeless situation. Someone does not have trust in the divine timing, okay? This is someone who is, um, um, they just want things now. They have no patience. They, they cannot wait. They just feel it's never happening again. And that's why in the near future, someone's going to be emotionally drained out. We have the Nine of Cups here. That's Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is someone who's going to be emotionally drained out, okay? But let me put it out there, emotionally drained out, yes. But at the same time, this is someone who's very emotionally dependent on the other person, all right? Like someone like, you make me happy, okay? If I don't have you, I'm not happy. 
Hmm. Okay. So what are you doing right now? You're doing the five of wands, Aries. The five of wands is conflicted in your head. Okay. It could be fighting out competition. It could be fighting for what you want. Okay. But I feel this is five of wands is more very conflicted in your head or there's just a lot of tension between you and this person. All right. In your environment or the person who's coming towards you, their energy is the three of pentacles in reverse. That is the earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There is someone who's involved in a third party situation. Okay, I'll have to put it out there. Um, there is someone who wants to leave a situation. Okay, who wants to leave a third party situation. Okay, so whoever's in an environment, if they're involved with a third person, they want to leave a situation. All right. I told you, we have the king of, you have the king of wands on your mind. This is again, someone married, someone committed, all right? And your emotions is the moon in reverse. You could be dealing with a Pisces or you could have Pisces in your birth chart. The moon in reverse is where you want to release stress. You want to release the fear around this connection, okay? You want to release the anxiety or at the same time, you want everything out in the open. The moon in reverse is where everything is revealed, okay? You want things to be revealed, okay? That's in your hopes and your fears or maybe your fears are that whatever you're going to see whatever's hidden in the dark it's just like going to be like a big surprise to you your likely outcome is the ten of swords okay this is overkill either you're going to be super stressed out and super burdened about a situation or there's just going to be an ending to a painful cycle a breakup or whatever okay we need to clarify i'm not going to be able to say anything to don't clarify all right Let's clarify the overall energy. Why is the nine of pentacles as the overall energy for Aries? Why is the nine of pentacles as the overall energy for Aries, please? You're single. You're enjoying. You're having the best time of your life. And that is clarified by the four of swords. But there is someone here who's taking and you're taking a break from someone. The four of swords is someone who's probably gathering their thoughts. They've like taken a break. They've like taken a step back. Like I need to think about this. Basically, this is someone who needs space. Okay, someone's not communicating. Clarify the four of swords. What is this four of swords? What is this four of swords? Maybe you want to chill, be single on your own and you're taking a break from someone. Or this is you who's just chilling, having fun. And there's the other person who you want space from okay clear for the four of swords clear for the four of swords yeah you cut someone out we have the queen of swords in reverse that's a very bad attitude this is someone who's very very vengeful okay the queen of swords in reverse is extremely icy detached being very cold very vengeful she's very bitter okay the queen of swords in reverse usually is an ex to me all right so there could be an ex involved we are also see the third party situation in your environment okay so yes we do see that someone is single and there is someone who's taken a break okay there's a lack of communication and there could be a third party uh, involved someone's pissed off okay either you cut someone off or someone's cut off okay someone cut you off okay all right. What is the seven of swords in reverse in the past? Why is the seven of swords in reverse here for Aries? Why is the seven of swords in reverse here for Aries? There's a lot of lack of communication here. Apply for the seven of swords. Maybe someone's pissed off because you cut them off. And they see you doing well. Someone's realized their worth. You know, the nine of pentacles is also someone who realizes their worth. Okay. They know they have their self-esteem. They realize that they're mu worth much more than what they're getting. And that's when now they're like, you know what? I need a break. Like, I don't think I want to talk about this. All right. The seven of swords in reverse, please. Clarify the seven of swords in reverse. So there was a reconciliation, okay? Someone could have been cheating or someone could have been avoiding or ignoring this connection, but that's clarified by the five of swords in reverse. The five of swords in reverse is a reconciliation, okay? If not a reconciliation, it is someone who is probably dropping their swords, okay? They don't, they want to resolve the conflict, okay? They want a peaceful solution and they're coming back. They, someone came back, okay, for a reconciliation. Someone who was trying to ignore, avoid or be sneaky about a connection, Either they got caught or they were guilty and they came back, okay? They came back because then they don't want to have any mind games anymore, okay? They want nothing to do with conflicts anymore. All right. Why is the Nine of Swords as the current energy? Why is the Nine of Swords as the current energy for Aries? Life for the Nine of Swords. We have the strength in reverse. Someone's lacking confidence. The strength in reverse is someone who's not making their moves, okay? The strength in reverse is someone who's... who's 
tired of dealing with the same shit over and over again okay this is someone who's just not doing anything to you know like make a move okay this is someone who's not making a move at all they feel they don't have the inner strength to overcome the obstacles anymore okay this is someone who's just tired and giving up they're throwing their hands up in the air like you know what i can't do this anymore clarify the strength in reverse clarify the strength in reverse could be dealing with a leo clarify the strength in reverse all right guys I don't usually say this uh, so soon, but yes, definitely a third party situation. All right. We have the six of pentacles here. Okay. So someone who is tired of dealing with the shit, right? Could be because there is someone who is giving to two people. We have the six of pentacles here. Okay. Either someone wants a balance in this situation where there is an equal give and take and equal participation of two people, or this is someone who is giving to two people. All right. And they can't take this anymore. Clarify for the six of pentacles. Clarify for the six of pentacles. What is the six of pentacles situation? Clarify for the six of pentacles. There's someone definitely giving to someone else too. Yeah, and now someone stopped putting in the effort. Eight of pentacles in reverse. Someone's stressing about a situation uh, because they are lacking the confidence, okay? Or they're just feeling that, you know what, the opposite person is just not making their moves. They're just not taking action towards me. And probably the person who's lacking confidence or who's not being able to, who's tired of dealing with this, is because there is someone who's also giving to someone else and that's why ultimately there is someone who's backing out from the connection this is someone who's not focused who's focused on anything but the relationship all right someone stop investing into the relationship why i get a lot of third parties because we have the two of pentacles here which could be juggling two people we have the six of pentacles here which could also be giving two people we have the three of pentacles in reverse here which is again a third party situation so yeah i'm sorry guys i'll have to put it out there all right why is the two of pentacles influencing the situation? Clarify the two of pentacles. What is this two of pentacles? What is this two of pentacles? Clarify the two of pentacles. Yeah. Whoever is juggling the situation, right? There is someone who is juggling a situation, right? And now we have the fool in reverse. Someone's not ready to take a risk. This is someone who has huge trust issues, okay? You could be dealing with a fellow sign Aries too. This is someone who has like you know who's gone through hell and back okay and now they don't trust the other person like you know what you put me through this once already you're not ready to leave the other relationship you're not ready to leave the other person i ain't doing this with you okay so probably you know what i think you're stressed about the decision that you need to make like do i want to move forward with this guy or not or this girl or not okay because this person is already giving to someone else and that's why you're in the fool in reverse because you don't know you don't know i mean i i don't know i don't want to take a risk with you I mean, you had a chance before. If you're not going to cut that other person out, then I'm just not going to be a fool. I don't want to look like a fool at the end. Play for the fool in reverse. What is this fool in reverse? Yeah, see? Scorpionic energy. You are trying to avoid a disaster. Okay, the tower in reverse is avoiding a disaster. Avoiding. Okay, you know what? It could also be trying to avoid a breakup, trying to avoid a divorce, trying to avoid something from completely crashing down all right someone is not taking a risk out here who's and that's why someone's very indecisive okay should i should i not should i should i not and they're not ready to take a risk because they think that if they pursue this it's going to land up in a big disaster that's why they're avoiding this they're avoiding making any decision right now and which in turn is stressing the shit out of them with the nine of swords apply for the king of wands why is the king of wands on aries mind apply for the king of wands who is this king of wands the king of wands clarified by the ten of swords in reverse so this king of wands could have been someone that you had a painful ending with there could be a cycle that ended there could be a lot of betrayal that you had from this person so either you're healing you're feeling betrayed from this person and now you're healing from a betrayal or you could have betrayed this king of wands i'm getting an energy that there's someone who's married and this person betrayed you in a way because we had the seven of swords in reverse here and now you're healing from that betrayal okay you're trying to get over whatever past betrayal you had from this person clarify for the ten of swords in reverse what is this ten of swords in reverse please clarify for the ten of swords in reverse clarify for the ten of swords in reverse clarify for the ten of swords in reverse what is this ten of swords in reverse yeah Four of Cups in reverse. You're moving on from any kind of discontent, okay? The Four of Cups in reverse is also someone who would have, who, who's, you know, moving on from any, you know, like you could have had a lot of afraid of rejection from this person. You could have isolated yourself. You could have 
you, you someone who was very aloof but now you're moving forward okay you're moving forward you're open to new offers or you're open to something new you're definitely moving forward from whatever discontentment you had in the situation because you're healing you're healing you are definitely moving forward from this king of wands okay i'm going to read for aries but you can take the energies how it resonates you're moving forward you're moving forward to to something new all right if you were very very in this um a stubborn energy or very isolation mode if you were in isolation mode and you were feeling like you know what uh, you're not getting what you want or you know you could have felt very very afraid of rejection or something like that maybe someone offered you something i think there's a missed opportunity and this king of wands could be on your mind they could be wanting to do you know uh, make a move forward but you know what you're like you know what that's fine let it be a missed opportunity i don't think you're going to take up this offer or they're not taking up an offer. Someone's having a missed opportunity. Someone's letting an opportunity go. Because there was a lot of discontentment, a lot of dissatisfaction in the past. You weren't happy. Okay, clarify the star in reverse. Why is the star in reverse? This is the reason for the reading. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. The star in reverse is because... Okay, I need, give me one more card for the two of wands in reverse. Give me a card for the two of wands in reverse. Is this indecisiveness or is this, is this someone picking a direction? Try for the two of wands in reverse. Right, like I thought so. Someone's losing faith in the connection. Someone's feeling a situation is completely hopeless and they are making a decision. We have the two of wands in reverse. Two of wands in reverse can also be indecisiveness or it could be someone who's sticking to a safer choice. Okay, So someone could be making a choice uh, because... They feel the Empress in reverse could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress in reverse is no growth, no expansion. Someone thinks that there is no growth here. Nothing's growing here. Okay. There could also be someone who feels who's not feeding this connection anymore. Okay. There's someone who's made a decision of not feeding this connection anymore. And that's why all this is happening. That's why all this is happening because someone's not giving that attention, that nurturing to a connection that they gave before because they think it's a hopeless situation and they made up their mind. Clarify the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse in the future? Why will Aries experience the Nine of Cups in reverse in the future, please? Because you're not budging or you're releasing something. Clarify the Hangman in reverse. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Clarify the Hangman in reverse, please. Clarify the Hangman in reverse. Clarify the Hangman in reverse. Yeah. You're facing, you're not going to be happy in the future or someone's feeling a lot of emotional discontentment. Someone's not emotionally satisfied because someone is going to, the hangman in reverse could be someone who's releasing something. I think someone's going to release a commitment. Someone's going to release a marriage. Okay. Apply for the hierophant. What is this? Give me one more card for the hangman in reverse. Give me one more card for the hangman in reverse. Give me one more card for the hangman in reverse. Give me one more card for the hangman in reverse. Too many cards, but I'm going to take the lovers, okay? So you know what? I feel that in the future, someone's definitely not going to be happy and they're releasing a commitment, okay? You know why? Because they realize, because either someone's not budging and they're very, very sure that they want a commitment. But I feel that this is someone who's releasing a commitment, a long-term commitment or a marriage because they have realized that they need to make a choice. Someone's going to be stuck. I think someone's going to be extremely stuck and they're going to make some, you know, the hangman in reverse to me is someone who makes temporary sacrifices. Like they don't make any move, you know, they're just like dug their heels into, you know, and uh, they don't make moves. A lot of um, it could be inaction also. Or there could also be someone because they're emotionally unhappy, they're missing you, they're finally going to come out of any isolation mode, they're going to finally take action and they're going to uh, probably give you the commitment because they know that they love you. The lovers is making a difficult choice, okay? So yeah, they know you're their soulmate and they love you very, very much. So probably they could have been in a stuck energy for a while, but now because they know that you make them happy, they're going to come towards you and they're going to give you the commitment because they realize that they love you very much. They feel the strong soulmate connection with you. 
the moon in reverse just came out more pisces energy so something's going to come out in the open okay something's going to be revealed hmm okay. why is aries the five of wands why is aries conflicted in their head what is this five of wands here what is the five of wands why do i have so many cards what is the okay what is the five of wands what is this five of wands here what is the five of wands yeah you're conflicted in your head about some regret from the past. We have the five of cups here. There is some spilled milk, okay, that you're regretting and crying over, over and over again. You're in a negative zone. You're in a very dark place right now. You're not being able to let go of whatever happened in the past, all right? What is this five of cups? What is this five of cups? What is this five of cups? Can for the five of cups? Yeah. And now you want to rush in. You want to rush in. Someone wants to rush in to communicate with you. Knight of Swords. This is rushing in. This is quick energy. Okay, someone going. Someone wants to act without thinking. Either this is you who wants to rush in to communicate with your with your person, or someone's coming in with communication. Okay, clarify the Three of Pentacles in Reverse. Clarify the Three of Pentacles in Reverse. Who is this Three of? What is the Three of Pentacles in situation in the external environment of Aries? Clarify the Three of Pentacles in Reverse. Yeah, someone's leaving a situation and they're they're giving up. Clarify the seven of wands in reverse. They're not being guarded anymore. Clarify the seven of wands in reverse. <laughs> okay. In your external environment, like I said, there is someone. We have the three of pentacles in reverse, the seven of wands in reverse, and the ten of cups. <laughs> Someone's coming to give you your Ten of Cups, Aries. So whatever commitment you were looking for, someone's coming in. Someone sees you as their, you know, be all. Someone wants a happily ever after with you. So they're ready to leave this third party situation. They're putting their guard down. They could have been very defensive about this before. Okay, very guarded. But now they're ready. To, they're not defensive anymore. They're giving up on this connection. They're not going to fight for this connection anymore. Okay, they're giving up. And they're going to come in towards you because they love you. And they're giving you the commitment that you need. And this is someone who's going to give you a happily ever after. Okay. Hmm. Why is the moon in reverse here? Clarify the moon in reverse. What is this hopes or fears? Why is the moon in reverse here? Clarify the moon in reverse. Clarify the moon in reverse. Yeah. We have the six of cups in reverse. The moon in reverse is releasing. You're releasing any fear and anxiety. You're, you, you know, it's more like, you know what? You're still clinging on to the past, okay? You're blocking your intuition. Could be that you're blocking your intuition and you're still clinging on to the past memories, okay? Bad memories from the past, okay? This is someone who's... There could be something wh which left a bad taste in your mouth, all right? Clarify the six of... Cups in reverse. I think you're releasing the past. Okay. Whatever bad memories you had in the past, I think you're releasing from in the past. And I don't think you're going back to this person. They're ready to give it to you, but you're not going back to this person. Life for the six of cups in reverse. You're releasing any fear that was attached to this and you're letting it go. Clarify for the six of cups in reverse. Clarify for the six of cups in reverse. Because you're going to do what makes you happy. We have the nine of cups here. You're going to take care of yourself, Aries. I love this. You are going to concentrate on yourself. You're going to do what makes you happy. You're going to do what makes you emotionally fulfilled, okay? You are, you are emotionally independent, okay? And you're in the energy where you know what i don't need you anymore okay i can keep i can take care of myself i can keep myself happy i don't need you to make me happy that's why we have the likely outcome as the ten of swords clarify the ten of swords why is the ten of swords here as the likely outcome clarify the ten of swords yeah you're going to be extremely guarded okay extremely guarded after this painful ending okay someone's betrayed you and now you're super super guarded we have the nine of wands you're going to be like no you're not getting anywhere close to me nowhere okay maybe in your head you still want to give it a last shot but you're extremely super guarded okay fly for the nine of wands fly for this nine of wands please fly for the nine of wands 
Yeah. You're looking for your new love. Clap for the Ace of Cups. Clap for the Ace of Cups. Clap for this Ace of Cups. All right. <clears throat> now, this can go two ways, all right? The likely outcome, we have the Ten of Swords, we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Five of Wands, okay? So I feel that there is the likely outcome is an ending of a betrayal, ending of a painful cycle. You're going to feel extremely betrayed, after which you're going to be super duper guarded, okay? You're not going to let this person in. You're choosing to love yourself first, okay? This is self-love. Either you're looking for new love, or you're choosing to love yourself first, and the Five of Wands in reverse is someone you do not want to fight for this connection anymore, alright? Right. You want a peaceful solution and you know what? Like You're like, you know what? I love myself first. I'm not going to fight for this. You're not fighting for this anymore. Maybe you could have been extremely into this connection, extremely invested into this connection. You were ready to fight for this. You're not fighting for this anymore. And you're they are who, who's leaving a third party situation and coming towards you with the Ten of Cups. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please leave your comments below. Hit the thumbs up button for me and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.